Hi there, curious minds. In this session we will delve deeper into the fascinating world of biology, specifically exploring the concept of artificial selection. Let's get learning. Artificial selection, also known as selective breeding, is a process that has shaped the world around us in more ways than you might imagine. At its core, artificial selection is about how humans, yes, you and I, choose organisms with desirable traits and selectively breed them. The goal? To ensure that the next generation also carries these desirable traits. From the luscious red apples in your lunchbox to the loyal pet dog in your backyard, artificial selection is all around us. Now, you might be wondering, how does this relate to natural selection? Well, natural selection is a similar process, but it's nature that does the choosing, not humans. Organisms with advantageous traits or alleles have an increased chance of surviving and reproducing, passing their advantageous traits to their offspring. This is nature's way of ensuring the fittest survive and reproduce. Did you know that the idea of artificial selection dates back to the days of Charles Darwin? Yes, the father of evolutionary biology himself introduced the concept of artificial selection in his famous book, On the Origin of Species. Darwin used artificial selection as a way to help explain the process of natural selection, showing how both processes can lead to evolution over time. Like many things in life, artificial selection has its advantages and disadvantages. A primary advantage is that artificial selection can, and often does, result in increased productivity. This is especially true in farming, where we have selectively bred crops to maximize yield. It's thanks to artificial selection that we can feed so many people around the globe today. However, it's not all rosy. A key disadvantage of artificial selection is that it often reduces genetic diversity. By choosing to breed only organisms with specific traits, we limit the genetic variation within a population. This can make the population more susceptible to diseases and less adaptable to environmental changes. To really bring this topic to life, let's consider a few examples. Crops, like corn, have been selectively bred over generations to increase their size and yield. Likewise, cattle have been bred for either milk production or meat quality. And it's not just in the world of agriculture. Ever marveled at the speed of a racehorse? That's artificial selection in action, with the fastest horses selectively bred to produce even faster offspring. So, there you have it. Artificial selection is a powerful tool, one that has shaped the world around us, from the food we eat to the pets we keep. However, it's important to remember that it's a tool that needs to be used with consideration for the potential consequences, particularly the loss of genetic diversity. That wraps up our session. Remember, each day brings new learning opportunities. Until next time, stay curious.